Price, who is a star of TV uh, Third Watch. She's with us here today, and this is Mrs. Price's daughter, and Marie Gabrielle, who is with us also, a friend of Molly's from New York. So, Molly, we're running short on time, so okay. I'll just turn it right over to you. All right. And these guys down here aren't reading yet. They're all right. There are emergent readers. Okay. So, uh, my name's Molly, and Mrs. Price is, you guys know her as your teacher, but she's my mom. And, um, I have five brothers, five brothers and sisters in my family growing up, and my mom called me up in New York City the other day and said, would I come and read to everybody, because it was Dr. Seuss's birthday, and I love Dr. Seuss, I think he's terrific, and my mom said that you guys all really love Dr. Seuss, too. Does anybody know how old Dr. Seuss is today? Oh. Oh. How old is he? 100. That's a long time to live, isn't it? 100 years old? Yeah. So. We're going to read one of his books. We're going to read the foot book. Does everybody know that one? Yes. So I'm just going to read the foot book to you. And then, go ahead. I have the book. You do? You guys are lucky. It's nice to have Dr. Seuss books. So here we go. I'm going to read. And then um, I have a, another surprise when we're done reading the book. All right? So this is called The Foot Book by Dr. Seuss. Left foot, left foot, right foot, right. Feet in the morning, feet at night. Left foot, left foot, left foot, right. Wet foot, dry foot, high foot, low foot. Front feet, back feet, red feet, black feet. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. How many, many feet you meet? Slow feet, quick feet. Trick feet, sick feet. Up feet, down feet, here comes clown feet. Small feet, big feet. Here come pig feet. His feet, her feet, fuzzy fur feet. In the house and on the street, how many, many feet you meet? Up in the air feet, over a chair feet, more and more feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-four feet. Here come more and more and more. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. Oh, how many feet you meet? The end. The end. I live in New York City, and I work on, on television shows, so I get a chance to meet really interesting people and people that study music and people that study how to do hair and people that study how to do makeup and people that study how to make beautiful costumes. So I have lots of interesting friends in my life and today I brought one of my special friends and she's a musician and she plays the guitar and she plays blues guitar, which I don't know if you guys know anything about the blues, but it's really great music and if you ever have a chance, if you're in a music store and somebody can buy you a CD, get some in blues. And Marie's gonna sing a song. She came all the way from New York today to celebrate Dr. Seuss's happy birthday. So we can give Marie a round of applause. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello.
Let me read his books. That's right. What else? Go ahead. What does he make us feel? I don't know. What does he make us feel? Funny. Funny and happy. So we all want to have fun. We have after we read Dr. Seuss books, we smile, right? We put a smile on our face. So this little song I'm going to sing is about the happiness in all of us. It's called This Little Light of Mine. And everybody has something inside of them that is happy. And we can make other people feel happy or we can feel happy. So I'm going to sing this song and I want you to help me, okay? Who knows the song, This Little Light of Mine? Okay. It goes like this.
heels on. Yeah. Yeah. I just let her pretend that she's a boss. But well, it was nice to meet all you guys. I just had a baby. I have a baby that's uh, four months old named Jake. And so uh, I'm looking at all you guys, and you're making me miss my baby so much. But it was nice to meet you, and thank you for inviting me to your school. And happy birthday to Dr. Seuss. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Molly, and um, my mom is a school teacher, Mrs. Price here. And I don't know if you guys know her. Does everybody know Mrs. Price? Yes. yes. And do you know that she has five children? No. Um, she has. She had five babies, and I'm the third one. So I have an older brother and an older sister, and I have a younger brother and a younger sister. And Mrs. Price is my mom. So you guys better be nice to her, or else <laughs> I know who you are now. I've seen you. Um, so my mom called me the other day and she told me that it was Dr. Seuss's birthday, birthday and I was wondering if you guys know how old Dr. Seuss is? <gasps> Shout it out. <laughs> Holy cow. Of them all, I think they're all really terrific, but my favorite one is Green Eggs and Ham. Hey, that's my favorite. Yeah, so you have good taste. And uh, unless, unless you guys object to, unless there's another book that you guys like more, um, I'll read something else, unless, if, is this okay if I read Green Eggs and Ham? Yes. So I'm just going to sit and read this book, or I'll stand and read the book, and then after we read the book, we have one other surprise for you, and, uh, and then we'll see what happens, all right? And everybody looks great. I love all your pajamas. I wish my mother had told me I would have worn mine. <laughs> Once again, mother has failed. Thank you. <laughs> all right, I'm going to take a sip of water, and then we'll do this. And a little bit of food, but you could really just live on water and books mostly. All right. <laughs> Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. I am Sam. Sam I am. That's Sam I am. That's Sam I am. I do not like that Sam, Sam I am. Do you like Green Eggs and Ham? Yeah. Yes. We tried them. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? No. Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green. I do not like them. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a box? Not in a box. Not with a fox. Not in a house. Not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat. I do not like them. Would you, could you, in a car, eat them, eat them. Here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. You may like them. You will see. You may like them in a tree. tree. I would not, could not in a tree. Not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a box. box. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like clean A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? No. Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car, Sam. Let me be. I would not, could not, in a box. I could not, would not, with a box. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not eat green. I do not like them. Say, in the dark, here, 
In the dark? Would you? Could you? In the dark? No. I would not? Could not? In the dark! Would you? Could you? In the rain? I would not? Could not? In the rain. Not in the dark. Not on a train. Not in a car. Not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam. You see? Not in a house. Not in a box. Not with a mouse. Not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them. Anywhere! You do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. Could you, would you, with a goat? goat? I would not. Could not. With a goat. Would you, could you, on a boat? I could not, would not, on a boat. I will not, will not, with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a I will not eat them in a house. I will not like them with a I do not like them here or there. I do not. I do not like I do not like them. You do not like them, so you say. Try them. Try them. And you may. Try them and you may, I say. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. You will let me You will let me Say. I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a... And I will eat them in the rain and in the dark and on a... And in a car and in a tree. They are so good. So good, you see. So I will eat them in a box, and I will eat them with a box, and I will eat them in a house, and I will eat them with a house, and I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere! I do like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you. Great. So listen, um, because I'm an actor and I live in New York City, I get to meet all these crazy, wonderful people. And I meet people that are cameramen and camera women, and I meet people that build beautiful costumes, and I meet people that do makeup, and they do hair, and there's all these amazing things that people do. And there's so many talented people that I meet, and I brought one of my special friends from New York City, and she's a musician and an actress and a songwriter and she plays the guitar beautifully and I told her that it was Dr. Seuss's birthday today and that my mom's school was having a birthday party for Dr. Seuss and I asked her if she would come from New York City and she did. So her name's Marie and she's gonna come and sing a song for you guys. So will you guys just give her a, a round of applause? Thank you. 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 Mi nombre es Maria Gabriel, and I'm going to sing a song today on a special day of Dr. Dr. Seuss's birthday. And what's one thing that Dr. Seuss makes us all feel? Happy. That's it. After we read the books, we feel funny, we feel happy, we feel joyful. So I'm going to sing a song, and I want you all to help me, and I think that you know it. Um, it's a very simple song. I like that, huh? Um, it's called This Little Light of Mine. with me. 
Because of the movie. No. Oh. What does Spider Man have to say? What do you say? Left foot, left foot. Right foot, right. Feet in the morning, feet at night. Left foot, left foot, left foot. Right foot. Wet foot, dry foot. Low foot, high foot. Front feet, back feet. Red feet, black feet. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. How many, many feet you meet? Slow feet, quick feet, trick feet, sick feet. Up feet, down feet, here come clown feet. Small feet, big feet. Here come pig feet. His feet, her feet, fuzzy fur feet. I don't want to see fuzzy fur feet. In the house and on the street, how many, many feet you meet? Up in the air feet, over a chair feet. More and more feet. Twenty four feet. Here come more and more and more feet. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. Oh, how many feet you meet. The end. That it was Dr. Seuss's birthday today, is that true? Yes. How old is he? A hundred? One hundred. That's really old, isn't it? Yeah. He died. What, what did he die of? <laughs> he just died of old age, probably, right? Because it's to be a hundred. So, did everybody read a Dr. Seuss book? Yes. So, does everybody have a favorite one? Yes. What's your favorite one? Green eggs and ham. Green eggs and ham? Oh, green eggs and ham. What's, what's your favorite one? Can you read with your eyes shut? Oh. Can you read with your eyes shut? What else? The, the cat in the hat. Cat in the hat. That's a good one, right? Alright, what's yours? The cat's quizzers. Cat's quizzers? Quizzer? The cat's quizzer. I don't know that one. I guess there's so many. What's your favorite one? You forgot? The cat and the hat. The cat and the hat. What's this? Celia. The cat and the hat comes back. Alright, so we have all these choices up here. So which one should we pick? Which one? Which one? Which one? The one. Who's this guy? Noah. <laughs> <laughs> Kid! 
No, but I have this candy. It says you have brains in your head. And you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where you go. There's pink trees where this guy lives. It says you'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some, you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may find, and you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. Can you see that? Uh, there's a He's really scary. <laughs> it's opener there in the wide open air. Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. You'll go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who are soared to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, <coughs> We'll talk all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true that bangs and hang ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a pricklier perch, and your gang will fly on, you'll be left in the lurch. It's when you are confused and you don't know what you're doing and you feel like everybody else around you knows what they're doing. If you don't, then you sort of feel like you're left in the lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. What's a, what's a slump? <laughs> That's worse than a lurch. <laughs> And when you're in a slump, you're not in it for you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. What about the way? I'm trying. Okay, I'll I'll show you. You, you will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbows and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right and three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind, you can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads at a, at a breakneck pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space headed, I fear, for a most useless place, the waiting place. For just people waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for yes or no, or waiting for the hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for the wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape 
all that waiting and staying, you'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy or girl. <laughs> oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done, and there are points to be scored. There are games to be won, and the magical things you can do with that ball will make the winningest winner of all. Fame. You'll be famous as famous can be, with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win, because you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. <laughs> there, are some, <laughs> there are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much that you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather will be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, through the hawk, hawk and cross howl. Onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. You see him out there in the boat? He's all alone. <coughs> on and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as already you know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Kids, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Bucksbaum or Bixby or Bray, or Mordiaki, Olivon, Allen, O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. The mountain is waiting. So, what's the last five? Get on your way. So, um, I live in New York City, and um, I'm an actor. And. Um, I get to meet a lot of really exciting people who do music and they design costumes and um, they do makeup and they do hair and all these really interesting jobs and interesting people. And I brought one of my really interesting friends with me today from New York City. She came all the way in from New York to visit with you guys. And her name's Marie and she's a songwriter and she plays the blues guitar which is very hard, and a lot of women don't play blues guitar. And she came in because she wanted to play the guitar for you guys, and so can we all give her a round of applause? So, my name is Marie Gabrielle, and I play music. Um, hola, como esta? Mi nombre es Maria. Gabrielle, como esta? Yeah. And now today, since now what is the one thing that Dr. Seuss makes all of us feel? Happy. That's right. Happy. So I chose a song for you guys today because it's a happy day and I think you might know this song. I do play blues, but this particular song is something that I think we all know a little bit. And I'll help you with the words if you know, don't know, but I think you do know it. Do you know a song called This Little Light of Mine? Yeah. Okay, listen. <laughs> oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Sing that with me. Sing it. Listen. 
This little light of mine, this mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. 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 I want you to put your best singing voices, okay? Ready? Here we go. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. Are you getting this, honey? Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's gonna bring it home. Mama's okay. gonna bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on, watch this guy. Oh, oh backwards. Oh, don't. Okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no? Okay, yeah. here it is. Oh, oh. oh my God. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. Yeah, All right, let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can. For more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together.
Now it's time for this week in bad stats. Bad stats? Horrible stats. Here goes. 132. That's how many batters struck out four times in one game last season. Wow, very good. Here's a tough one, though. Three and four. No idea. That's how many kids witness bullying. Three out of four. That's not a good stat. No, it's not, but it can change. Kids want to help, but they don't know how. Visit StopBullying.gov and give them the tools they need to help prevent bullying. There are plenty of safe ways kids can help at StopBullying.gov. I can't stop this feeling deep inside me. Boy, you just don't Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Why worry? 
Could be laughter after pain There should be sunshine after rain Cepillarse dos minutos puede salvar a tus hijos de sufrir un dolor severo. Dos minutos, dos veces al día. Ellos tienen tiempo. What's up? It's Benji and Joel Madden from Good Charlotte, and it's election time again. Don't forget to register at rockthevote.com. 
It's your future. Rock the vote.